We have problem number one in ten. I'm Marissa. I'm Jenny. I'm Giselle. And I'm Marcy. Yeah. This is problem number one. And what you would do to find a sub 1 is you would plug 1 in for n, which would be 1 minus 2, and then 3 times 1. So 1 minus 2 is negative 1, and 3 times 1 is 3. So the answer for a sub 1 is negative 1 third. Okay, for a sub 2 you do the same thing, but for n you plug in 2. So you have 2 minus 2 and 3 times 2. 2 minus 2 equals 0, and 3 times 2 is 6, but 0 divided by 6 equals 0, so the answer for a sub 2 is 0. Then to find a sub 3, you're going to plug in 3 for both of the ends on the top and the bottom, and 3 minus 2 equals 1, and then 3 times 3 equals 9, so a sub 3 will equal 1 9. When solving for a sub 4, you take 4 and you put it in place of n. So 4 minus 2 is 2, and 3 times 4 is 12, which simplifies to 1 6. <laughs> and then for a sub 5, you place the 5 in for n. So 5 minus 2, and 3 times 5. So it would be 3 over 15, right? Which equals 1 fifth.